Hello and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. This week I'm going to tell you what pressure sensors are and explain exactly how they're used in smoke ventilation systems. So let's start with a definition. First of all, pressure is defined as a continuous physical force exerted on or against an object by something in contact with it. A pressure sensor is a device which measures the pressure of a gas or liquid, in our case air, and converts the measure value into an electrical signal as an output. Pressure sensors aren't just used in smoke ventilation. They're also there in roads, vehicles, machinery, and plenty of other areas. But let's get into how they're used in smoke ventilation systems. Pressure sensors are a huge element of pressure differential systems, and are therefore in one of the most common types of pressure differential systems, which are pressurization systems. Firstly, if you'd like more of an overview of pressurization systems, I'll link a helpful video of ours in the description below and I'll also put a card at the top of the screen. So in pressurization systems, pressure sensors are there to make sure the correct pressure levels are maintained. This is crucial as the purpose of the pressurization system is to create a pressure differential within the building compartments in order to keep certain areas of the building safe. For example, if a building had a, had a designated protected stair as part of an escape route, a pressurization system would work to keep smoke and other products of combustion away from the protected stair in order for the residents to escape. This is why pressure sensors are so necessary. If the correct pressure differential isn't achieved, then those areas could be filled with smoke and the residents wouldn't be able to escape. So if you'd like to know a bit more about protected stairs, we've also linked a video below in relation to that. There's another reason that pressure sensors are vital in pressure differential systems. They also make sure the pressure in the pressurized zone isn't so great that it stops people from opening doors. However, some pressure differential systems have a different form of overpressure relief, for example, a barometric damper. Once again, if you'd like to find out more about overpressure relief and how that's achieved, we've got a recent video uh, also linked in the description below explaining the different types. Now, just because it's called a pressure sensor doesn't mean they're only present in pressure differential systems. They're also there in some mechanical smoke ventilation systems as well. In mechanical smoke ventilation systems, smoke and other products of combustion are extracted through dampers into a smoke shaft and then extracted via the shaft out of the building. In a similar situation to a pressurization system, but just the other way around, the doors can be sucked shut due to depressurization. And this is where the pressure sensors come in. They're present within some of the mechanical systems where there's a risk of depressurization in order to make sure there's no excess depressurization so that people are still able to open the doors and evacuate. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you would like more content like this, consider subscribing. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time around. Thanks for watching and bye for now.